Gemini. Sorry, my lips are really dry. I've been doing a lot of talking. Gemini, I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Okay. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I am very grateful to have you here. Gemini, we are going to be getting into a general reading for you. We are going to be freestyling a little bit here. I'm going to hit up the Yin and Yang Oracle, which I've been using today. And I'm going to be doing some tarot. And then we are going to be drawing for anything else you need to know and some closing messages, okay? Please be reminded, Gemini, that not every message will be for you. If you are watching tarot, no doubt you know that already, especially if you've been here before. Um, you wouldn't force your foot in any shoe that doesn't fit you. Well, some people might, but we're not going to do that here okay please use your discernment always watch with an open mind when you are watching tarot not everything is your story absolutely not not everything is going to be your story and if you find that some parts resonate then that's fantastic okay i hope that this reading provides you with some clarity and insight okay for your particular situation we could be picking up on your energy. We could be picking up on somebody around you's energy and what is going on with them. This could be about a ex-lover. This could be about a partner that you are currently dealing with, a situationship, a friend, family member, or a foe. Take it as it resonates, okay? Let's shuffle. Messages for Gemini, please. This weather is so miserable today. It's raining, it's murky, very cold. The autumn is definitely here in full swing. Okay. Messages for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know at this time, please? We've got comfort zone, self node, clinging. Hmm. Receive and open. Some of you could be um, sabotaging, self sabotaging yourself, past lack, suffering. This could be due to something that's happened in your past, Gemini. Some of you could be clinging to what is familiar with you, what is familiar to you. Um, but it's not helping you reach your, your self node, I was going to say, your full potential. Okay, some of you could be stuck in the past or stuck in some sort of comfort zone. And you need to be opening up to receive because something's ready to come in for you, Gemini. Feminine. For a lot of you, you are dealing with a divine, divine feminine energy or you are one. Okay. Or this is what spirit is trying to do to push you into your divine feminine energy. For, if, for some of you, if you are a masculine energy, it could be that you need to balance your fem feminine energies and your masculine energy. You could be sitting very comfortable in your masculine energy and it needs to have some sort of balance, twin flame. Some of you could be dealing with a twin flame union, okay? If you resonate with that, with the twin flame journey, okay? Look it up. Renewal and spark. There's something that's looking to happen. There's something that's that's waiting to kind of happen here. But I feel like um, spirit is, is not allowing it, to, the floodgates to open is what I'm hearing. What's the bottom? What's at the bottom? Celebration gifts abundance. Yeah, there's a lot of good energy to be had, but I feel like you may be stuck or you're, you're, you're self-sabotaging yourself or you're not reaching your full potential due to something that you've, you've, you're familiar with. There's, there's a comfort zone. There's a, there's a safety net that you're, comfortably sitting in and i feel like there's a need for you to take a risk in order for more to come to you or some sort of celebration energy gifts to come to you spirit is waiting to bless you spirit spirit is waiting to renew something to make something exciting again for you to inject some sort of new into your life for some of you it's a twin flame union that that is waiting to come in a feminine energy if you are a masculine if you even if you are a um feminine energy you know take it as it resonates but you need to be more open to receive you're closed off i'm getting an energy of somebody being closed off here let's see 
as I, as I just split the deck, oh, it's gone now, I saw the Two of Swords, that's closed off energy. Two of Swords with the Page of Pentacles, you're closed off to the new. Some of you need to um, cleanse the past. Some of you need to let go of something from the past here. Some of you could be hanging on to resentment, to ill feelings of the past, that that needs to be cleansed from your energy. Four of Wands, Queen of Wands. Yeah, to step into some new divine feminine energy, to step into your confidence, step into your power here for a union to take place. For a lot of you, this is a union or some sort of stability. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. The universe is, is wanting to bless you. The universe is, is preparing something for you, but you've got to be open to it. It can't come in if you're not open to it. The Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you need to step into your, your, your feminine energy. For some of you, if you're masculine, um, you could be coming across a bit too, you could be coming across cold. You could need to soften it up a little bit, fellas, if that's for you. Four of Wands, Nine of Swords. For some of you, you're anxious about stepping into the new. Some people have fears over the new, okay? It's very comfortable when things are familiar. It's, it's, it's comforting when things are going the way that they've always gone. But that doesn't necessarily mean that nothing needs to change or that um, that's the right path for you, okay? So be open to the new. Yeah, you're, you're, you're feeling insecure about some sort of new beginning here. There's a need for you to release your fears. The Nine of Wands talks about insecurity sometimes as well. We've got the Four of Swords. Some of you could be overthinking something. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. The Devil in the reverse. The Three of Cups in the reverse. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're holding on to something of the past here. Ten of Wands, yeah, you're carrying a burden, you're carrying the past, you're carrying baggage here, Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Hierophant. There's an elevation that is wanting to happen in your energy. There's some sort of next level that's trying to happen, Six of Wands. Success is literally just around the corner. The bottom of the deck usually talks about things that you cannot see. And what, what is trying to come in is some sort of elevation, some sort of celebration here, Six of Wands, that you're, you're, you're caught in some sort of anxious anxious state overthinking here four of swords is here also and the tower is here that i feel like you have spirit guides trying to push you watching to see what you do yeah i feel like this is higher power here watching to see what you do we've got the page of swords and the emperor energy here ten of swords is underneath that you've got you've got gone through some sort of betrayal of the past some sort of hurt some sort of something that you're carrying with you Gemini, some of you could be dealing with a earth sign, a Capricorn, a Virgo or a Taurus here. Some of you could be dealing with a strong Capricorn, um, strong earth sign. And some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. For a lot of you, you're, you're, you're struggling to let go of some sort of attachment from the past, okay? I definitely see that. With the six of pentacles in the reverse... And the four of pentacles. You're holding on to some something that didn't work. You could be holding on to some sort of resentment of being in an unrequited situation where something was one-sided. Give me one second because my kid is being super loud next door. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, he's playing a game and he's just getting way too into it. I'm going to go and be a party pooper in a minute and then bring out the reading book so you can do some reading. Enough gaming for today. But anyway, um, Six of Pentacles in the reverse is unrequited. You could have dealt with a, a relationship that was one-sided that you held on to. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're still carrying this with you. For some of you, you could be feeling as though something's going to repeat or you're going to be coming into another situation where that's going to be the case again. OK, so we need to release that easier said than done. OK, in order to receive the new, we need to step into the new. For a lot of you, you are overthinking something, but I feel like you're doing a lot better than what you, you view yourself. OK, some of you could be overthinking here. Some of you could be kind of having a warped view over your um, 
your progress and i feel like for a lot of you you've progressed more than what you feel like for a lot of you you've been healing you've been trying to reach some sort of next level in your healing you've been trying to see things from a, dis a different perspective and i definitely see that you are trying whoever i'm speaking to it's not as if you're sitting there closed off and you're not trying to move forward because with the queen of pentacles you're in a very stable stance for a lot of you if you hadn't have done that healing then you wouldn't be sitting in the queen of pentacles energy here gemini but there's a need for you to detach from some sort of past attachments here for some of you you could have dealt with harsh gossip there could have been you know a lot of rumors there could have been people not being very nice to you this could have been slander this could have been people talking your name behind your back okay and this could have been people that you trusted OK, this could have been people you were generous to with that six of pentacles and the same wasn't given back to you. Take it as it resonates. For some of you, this could be a partnership. For some of you, this was a friendship, a family, whoever. OK. With the devil in the reverse and the ten of wands, there's a need for you to cleanse your energy. You're carrying a burden here and the burden is heavy. Whatever it was that that took place in the past here, Gemini it was hard to navigate through it's been hard to detach from and i feel like mentally you are still kind of attached to this feeling of feeling bound to this feeling of toxicity to something dragging you down but this is stopping you from moving forward this is not doing you any favors because whatever this is it's kind of slowing you down and with the knight of pentacles movement is is trying to happen and again this is what i mean about i can see that you are trying to make the effort to move forward because the knight of pentacles he moves very, very slow, but he's very steady to get to his destination. And it could be that you just need a bit more time, okay, in order to get to the next level or self-mastery or some sort of um, elevation in your life after dealing with something that was really difficult. You could have dealt with rumours. You could have dealt with people talking behind your back with the three of cups in the reverse. And you've had to try and distance yourself from something that was really toxic. People didn't have good intentions for you. You could have dealt with one-sided relationships. You could have been given a lot more in a relationship, in a friendship, within a setting, within a group, friendship group. Whatever this is for you, then the other people, person was giving here. And as a result of that, it's created some sort of complex or you, it's, it's, you're carrying the baggage of that. You're carrying the baggage of that. Page of coins, six of swords, yeah. Something, you're, you're being ushered in a new direction to have the new. But you just need to be open to it. King of coins, six of swords, yeah. I saw the page of coins in the split with the six of swords. And now it's the king of coins in the split with the six of swords. Elevation. The universe is trying to push you from small to more. There's more that's trying to happen. There is more that's trying to happen. The Fool, Six of Swords, a new beginning is trying to happen for you. The universe is trying to um, bring you some sort of calm in your energy, Nine of Wands, but you don't trust it. What am I telling you? You don't trust it. Nine of Wands is here. You don't trust this. You don't trust that it's going to be smooth. You don't trust it. It's almost like you're you're doubting, you're doubting the new journey, you're doubting this, this new that's trying to come in. Six of swords, three of swords due to heartbreak. The universe is pushing you, it's pushing you to the calm, it's pushing you to the smoother waters, but you're in this pain, you're carrying this pain. I'm feeling it. Four of swords, please. Nine of coins. I'm telling you, you're overthinking this. You're overthinking your success. You're doing a lot better. How you view yourself is not how other people are viewing you or how the universe is seeing you. The universe is trying to bless you. The universe is trying to give you something strength because you've been really strong in a situation here. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. And I feel like there's a need for you not to overthink something here. Four of coins, you're holding on to it for dear life. Four, four, four of coins, four of coins. Two cards saying the same thing. The sun. And happiness is trying to happen for you. A new investment is around the corner. You know, 
fruition is coming if you are able to do this to let go and it's easier said than done six of pentacles what was this that happened in the past nine of wands something that made you insecure you could have developed some sort of trust issue from people that were in your environment the empress for some of you this could have been a mother figure an auntie Somebody who you who who you view as having children or is maternal in your life. Page of coins, definitely. It could be a mother. Take it as it resonates. Somebody who you have children with, even. But you've developed a complex. Queen of coins in the reverse. It could be a, a maternal, a distorted feminine type of energy. Somebody could have made you feel insecure. Somebody could have made you feel inadequate. And this could this could stem from mummy issues, whether this person had mummy issues or abandonment issues from their maternal side, grandmother, mother, whoever, auntie, some sort of feminine in this person's energy. And that has created them to, to that, that could have been the reason as to why they may have shortchanged you or not given to the connection or not been fair with you. Or it was unrequited. Or you yourself, Gemini, could have some sort of issue from the past, which you're healing from. For some of you, you could have dealt with a, a, a situation where you 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 wasn't given much affection from a mother figure, a figure or a feminine energy in your life, a prominent feminine energy in your life, which caused you to have a lot of trust issues and issues with with um, trauma. Nine of Swords page of wands yeah this new start is making you so anxious whoever i'm speaking to you're so scared and worried about having this new beginning it really scares you king of wands in the reverse you don't feel confident your confidence has been knocked here three of cups the devil yeah this is what you're detaching from the slander the gossip the toxicity you were dealing with a really nasty situation here with that devil card to clarify the three of cups people around you could have been talking about you behind your back spreading lies spreading rumors one more for the double card the chariot you had to move on from this toxicity so that's the first step but you're still carrying the mental mental strain of this four of cups in the reverse you're getting better you're not feeling as 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 um caught up on the past situation anymore in terms of in terms of it letting it bother you or affect your emotions but mentally you're still carrying it even though you've distanced yourself with the three of wands and with the three of coins in the reverse you realize that these are not people that you want to be working with ten of cups you're going towards better here six of swords yeah better is trying to come for you but you need the last push i feel a sense that you need the last push ten of wands please Two of coins. Yeah, six of coins. Battling over what's equal give and take and whether or not you can navigate your way to a situation that is more reciprocal for you. For some of you, this is friendship. Seven of wands. Yeah, very guarded energy. What you don't see. Yeah, knight of coins is here twice. Look two energies of you moving forward you're moving you're moving slowly towards it here as you move forward and you kind of regain your momentum you you regain your confidence you're going to really realize how much progress you've made because at the moment you're very anxious you're very pent up over whatever this is and and past trauma can really do that to you you know as you end something for some of you you're dealing with a scorpio death card as you put an end to something and you move slowly forward small steps equals big leaps remember that you're stepping into the unknown the fear of being happy and that's exactly what we're talking about the fear of stepping into your north node the fear of stepping into what is going to be aligned for you because you're so comfortable in your bubble you're so comfortable where you've been at you're so comfortable with feeling doing what you've been doing nine of cups is here and the moon the fear of being happy that's literally what that is the fear of wish fulfillment the fear of actually getting what you deserve and that's the thing people fear it because after so long of possibly being treated poorly being treated 
you know, indignified is what I, what I heard. People slandering, people lying on your name. People creating burdens. Jealousy with the Queen of Coins in the reverse, the Empress. People not giving to you as you give, filling back your cup. It's easy to get, to, to, it's easy to, to feel like that is normal. It's easy to feel like, you know, being treated like that is all you, 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 is your portion. Because you've possibly been in a situation for quite a considerable amount of time. Whatever this is with this devil card twice, you were very stuck in, in whatever this was. You was bound to this. This was an attachment that, that you, you, you've struggled and you're still struggling to sever the ties for some of you you may need to cut the cord to fully move on and this was a connection that 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 had you stuck it had you bound for some of you there was some sort of contract that you had to fulfill with a person here or a group which made it even more difficult but it's almost like you've developed such a complex such an anxiety over what what could be good for you you know that saying of Think of all the things that could go wrong. But then the flip side of it, you know, on the other side, with the angel on the other side, what about all the things that could go right? What about the happiness that is there to be had? What about the joy and abundance that the universe is trying to bring you? What about the renewal, renewal, the celebration that spirit is trying to bring you? The rebirth with the winter card. What about all of this good energy when you have faith and you take the step? You could be shivering, crying, it's not running down your face. Let's get grim, you know. You could be all of the above, all of those things. Shaking in your boots, quaking in those boots. But taking the step might, might be the best thing you've ever done for yourself. And that's who I'm talking to here. I'm talking to a Gemini who's worried. I'm talking to a Gemini who's fearing getting their wish fulfillment i'm shaking i'm talking to a gemini who is overthinking i'm talking to a gemini who has been something been through something really nasty at the hands of somebody else or other people here slander gossip people talking down people people behind your back taking in front of you but yet slandering you at any opportunity behind your back talking nice while you're in the room but as soon as you leave the room they're making fun of you people could have been picking on you people could have been mean People could have been making fun of you. And that is not easy to get over. That's why you're carrying this. That's that's why you're carrying this. That's what this is. That's why you're carrying this. So I get it. I get it, Gemini. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But listen, you're, you're steadily moving forward. Look, Three of Cups is now in the upright. People, look, Three of Cups was there to identify the past in the reverse, okay? slander gossip whatever it is people with poor intentions people who front like they're your friends and they're in your corner but they're actually not they're nothing nothing even close to look three of cups you're moving towards better friendships people who are going to be genuine people who are going to want to celebrate with you people who are going to want to see you win people who are on your side people who are not going to speak ill of you when you leave the room to go to the bathroom We need to get rid of this fear of being happy because Nine of Cups is here. Gemini is here. High Priestess. Be brave. Be bold, Gemini. Be brave. Be bold. Step into your power. Free of pentacles and the devil. Collaboration. People who want to collaborate with you after dealing with attachment and toxicity to people who was with you for the wrong reasons. The tower, yeah. Things crumbling. Things being rebuilt in order for you to have peace. We've got the temperance energy here. Spirit is trying to balance your life. Spirit is trying to bring you peace. Ace of Cups in the shape of confidence, in the form of self-love, in the form of relationships that are going to be fulfilling. Page of Pentacles, a new beginning, new start, new opportunities, opportunities to grow. Knight of Cups, having fun again, reconnecting with self, 
starting to feel again, starting to build, be comfortable with expression, expressing emotion in very small increments. That's where it starts. The Queen of Wands, confidence, Queen of Pentacles, back to yourself. And again, Nine of Cups. I cannot make this up. Connections. Okay. Smooth waters. Six of Swords here waiting to happen. Okay. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. That's waiting to happen here. Different deck, same message. You're doing a lot better than what you think you are. Just keep the momentum, keep the pace. And time is a healer. I'm telling you, time is a healer. Whatever crap this was that you dealt with here, I want to see what the outcome will be for those people real quick. Just for giggles. What's going to happen for these people here? Knight of Cups. For some of you, it's family here. Yeah, the same thing that they put you through. They're going to have to work extra hard on trying to have some sort of satisfaction or wish fulfillment in their life. And they're never going to quite be satisfied with where they get. We have to be very careful what we how we do people with the moon card. The fear that they instilled in you, whether directly or indirectly, is going to be what they feel here. Anxiety due to being disingenuous, due to making people's life harder, due to making things difficult for you, due to not partnering up with you how they need to, due to showing to your face that they were one way, but in fact they were sabotaging you and not working with you whatsoever. They're going to have to deal with that burden. Two of Pentacles, instability, okay? Keep moving forward, keep being strong, quaking in your boots, take the step. Quaking in your boots, palpitations, your heart racing, take the step, take the step, take the step. I get it, I get it, I get it, take the step. You're doing so well, Gemini. But all of this is waiting to be had. Don't fear it. Don't fear it with that moon card. Don't fear your wish fulfillment because it's trying to come in for you. It's, it's ready for the taking. It's right there in front of you. Take the step. The truth. Willpower. Take the step. Closure. Courage. Take the step. Yes. Transformation. The truth. Look at this energy here. Let me get rid of this alarm. We have truth. This is the truth. This is spirit saying yes. Willpower, closure, courage. Step into the new. Find your confidence again. Quaking in your boots. Take the step because it will close so many doors for you. And it will move you into a new energy of transformation which is here and new beginnings for some of you it is soul tribe new home new people places environments rooms that you feel you fit nicely into rooms that are supportive walking into rooms where you don't feel anxious where you feel the energy in the room and the energy is nice because you feel welcomed because you're around people who help you to flourish you're around people who mean the best for you that is available for you it is out there it's available for you trust clarity gemini that was that was a powerful reading that was my last for today take the step take the step take the step Give yourself time. Take as long as you need, but take the step. Gemini, that is what I have for you. Sending you so much love and light at this time. But until next time, Gemini, I will see you soon. You take care. Bye.